So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Power Awakens Part 2 is actually a very enjoyable DLC. I, that, that's how you do a DLC right there. That's how you do a DLC. After, after Part 1, I kind of was very underwhelmed, but I had bought the set, so I was like, you know what? I gotta get into Part 2, right? And here are some of my thoughts. All right, so what we're gonna get into this, we're gonna get into the story of it. And obviously this takes place on the Resurrection F Saga uh, in Dragon Ball Super. You all know that this is when Frieza gets his golden form and he takes his revenge on the Saiyans. And so I really enjoyed the way that they built or built up to this story. I, I kind of took for granted. No, no, I'm not gonna say that. Part one was what it was to me. But at the same time, I see why they took that direction, but I would have liked it for it to be a, like, just a one-time thing rather than it be a part two and part one. Because granted, I do agree it is the Battle of the Gods and then it's, you know, Resurrection F, but you could have kind of just combined those. And they eventually did, but I'm speaking of it as, you know, when it just came out. They, they were, I think they were separate DLCs. And so, with that being said, I really did enjoy this second half when you do get super saiyan god and super saiyan blue and all that stuff it's really rewarding like the the level up is, is it's worth it it's a it's a massive power up and i feel sorry that it's locked behind a ten dollar paywall right now like you if you don't have these skills like i tell you i was using some of these skills and going back into the, the regular story and beating some of these side missions in two seconds because like you could be like level 100 and then like go back and be like defeating level 50s on those little enemy spots like i i just had a blast using like super spirit bomb and vegeta and all that good stuff and i even had unlocked portara with the portara earrings and i was using fusion a couple times it, it just it opened up a lot in part two i will say that much the story was very nice very well put together the dialogue again i actually sat through most of the cutscenes. i'm gonna say this now like they weren't as drawn out i actually was like like i was watching an episode of dragon ball z like i was actually or dragon ball super in this case and so i was really really entertained by this part i i, I really was like i was sitting there like, huh like okay this is a big step up like i'm actually entertained i'm actually having fun i'm i'm actually sweating like i i like when story mode games put you in a position to sweat like it's not supposed to be so easy all the time you know what i'm saying and if it is you know what I'm saying? i was doing these at like level 95 while weiss was like level 130 and then i was doing some of them at 120 while the enemy was level 170. i don't care I, i'm a rock you know what i'm saying i'm gonna I'm a get it done because i like to sweat you know what i'm saying and, and it kind of it added more immersiveness to like how i played because it allowed me to draw out the fight and it allowed the cutscenes to play and it allowed me to actually feel like i'm in the episode fighting for this long and so it would just it it opened up a door it really did it opened up a big door of what this game could do and they really added a lot to this i actually as i'm gonna have to get my hands on the other dlcs at, just by this one alone part one was a little underwhelming but this one right here this one really has led me okay y'all y'all did your thing the cutscenes, the whole scene where you're actually fighting you know, versus vegeta goku the whole like fighting against the 100 enemies thing let's talk about that let's talk about the fighting let's talk about the actual gameplay and combat because that part was the bread and butter as it should be right it's dragon ball we love fighting bro the when you have to go and defeat 100 enemies i will say this big big suggestion big tip you're going to want to be at least at least a level 90 or 85 with piccolo tn krillin and some of those people because you actually you actually have to fight as them like when you go into you know as into the um like fighting as resurrection f when they actually fight all those 100 soldiers like yeah that is a lit fight and there's actually multiple sections and it, you can do that z combo there's a z combo you do where you can like blast them away and it counts it up and then there's like i was playing at like as vegeta and like goku at one point at one point and i was using super saiyan god and i was just slicing through them in one punch because i was actually like a higher level i was like 120 or something they were they're like like 85 or 90 or something like that and it was it was just i was having a blast i'm sorry guys i was having a blast like with that being said though there was a lot of negatives that not a lot but i would say there were some negatives that came with it i do i did not find it very like rewarding to do the uh 100 but like sometimes you can go around and jump to different spots but a lot of the stuff that 
like the extra battles that they give you i didn't find it too rewarding like it was good for a level up but i didn't find it you know it more so was like okay i i can do this for a little bit but it's what more am i getting from it once i stop leveling you know what i'm saying so i feel like that was like a little negative there um other than that guys i'm actually trying to find a negative at this point i don't think there's another one i i actually really enjoyed this dlc i that's a big jump though it's funny they went from such a downgrade in the first one and then now i'm like whoa like this was amazing this was great i like i like the resurrection yeah they they did that i like that man they, 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 that was a dlc right there. that's how you do it the dlc right amount of cutscenes, right amount of engagement and again they did it did it they did it right and of course they're gonna change a few things but the whole the new i like the little time machine thing when um or the time skip thing we did yeah like that was all of that was good like everything about it was it was on point i was like okay this is just like the movie this is just like i'm gonna reference the movie because the show kind of you know we how we feel about the first half of super you know oh boy boy but you know with that being said again like again using and acquiring these transformations and then like going back and using them in the main story sometimes and then just having them and seeing their power and the combos and, and the amount of skill tree options you open up when you do these like dlc packs is amazing like goku throwing the massive spirit bomb and then transforming into a patara earrings with using vegeto like i was slicing through those guys and let me tell you something goku and vegeta are literally the they are so strong when it comes to like fighting as super saiyan god super saiyan it it, it, it blows my mind and I, I was just sitting there. I was, I was having a blast. I, I can't say much else. Well, what else is there to say? This, this might as well be. This should have been short because, like, it was a blast. I had fun. Even when I, I lost a couple matches, I lost, you know, lost some. I had to restart, but I, I had fun. It was, it was good, cool to see Whis throwing them blasts. It was cool to fight Beerus. It was cool to fight Frieza. Man, Golden Frieza, he was a menace. Like I tell you, he, he, he earned his right as Emperor, but. Yeah, we, we, we got him right at the end. We got him right. All right. And I will say this. Another tip at the end. When you are fighting Frieza, you want to focus on melee attacks. Because quite often when I found myself using Blast, it didn't really do as much damage as I thought. Unless you stunned him. So, please do that. But other than that, guys, this is my final review. This game or this DLC. Again, I keep saying game. Oh, overall, it's expanding the game. So, I say well, this game is increasing. I will say the DLC is increasing the rating of the game for me. And I, typically, I, I think I could do another review. You guys did so good on that review, guys. Thank you guys for that support. Like, it's almost at 1K. Like, thank you guys. Like, I, I didn't think that would do any good. So, thank you guys so much. So, I think I might do another review encompassing all the DLCs, though. So, that means I got to get my hands on some of these DLCs. Don't worry. I'm going to invest, guys. It's called investment into my channel. It's investing into you guys. I will gladly spend my money to make the content if it's getting supported. So, again, I thank you guys. But with that being said, my final review on this DLC is I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It, I'm only doing that because, again, it was not perfect, although I can't really pinpoint big negatives. There were some that I did find a little tedious moments where I didn't really wasn't having fun and I didn't want to enjoy certain parts. But overall, it was a fun experience. Eight out of ten is definitely not bad at all, and I, I'm, again, I, I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, man. It was great. It was great. So again, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and you get on some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content. Peace.